uh, Dr. Nusai Banadia that's going to, you know, lead us way about the air pollution and what is the impact to our daily life and also our health. Thank you so much, Doc, for being here with us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for having me. We're going to go straight to this uh, statistic that we just mentioned before. Yeah. The IQ Air had on June 24th that ranked Jakarta as the world's most popular city. We should not be proud of that, uh, <laughs> you know, and that is very important also for us to know the impacts about poor air quality to our health. Hence, Doctor, please yeah. lead us the way. So, uh, first of all, the AQI uh, stands for Air Quality Index, mm -hmm. and the health, the healthy air quality index number is supposed to be under 50. Under 50. Under 50. So, so we're like way above. Uh, under yeah, yeah, under 100 is still acceptable, and over 100 is considered un unhealthy. Okay. All right. Yeah, and also for the PM 2.5, mm -hmm. it stands for the particulate matter, uh, which sizes under 2.5 micrometers, okay. as stated before. Mm -hmm. It is uh, the particles of, uh, it can be from combustions, mm -hmm. oh. from vehicle emissions, okay. smoke, right. even tire rubber, yes. and also uh, from b the burning of materials mm -hmm. okay. that can be inhaled. Yeah. And uh, the effect of uh, inhaling polluted air is part, uh, mainly in the respiratory system. Mm -hmm. ah. It will uh, damage our lung cells. Okay. It will reduce our lung function. Mm -hmm. uh, in the acute phase, in the direct effect, mm -hmm. first is irritation of the nose, throat, and the eyes, and also our lungs. Mm -hmm. And all uh, for in Daily activities, mm -hmm. yeah. it will cause us feeling like shortness of breath, oh, difficult gosh. with breathing, and also it can cause nausea, headache. Right. It can cause us to feel uh, out of breath. I'm out of breath, and we're doing activities outdoors. Yeah. In the long term, it can cause diseases. It can uh, cause, uh, for example, asthma, okay. bronchitis, and uh, other lung damages that cause uh, okay. shortness of breath. And particularly for people who already have lung diseases or mm -hmm. heart diseases, it's uh, very dangerous for yeah, them because yeah. it can cause, it can trigger asthma attacks, yeah. it can trigger heart attacks, even stroke, mm -hmm. which is why uh, the quality index above 100 is yeah. dangerous for sensitive uh, groups, which okay. is people who are already uh, having diseases, lung disease and heart disease. Right. I see. So the risks are higher for yeah. um, people. Now, before we continue with the talk show, let's take a look at uh, Jakarta's air quality index this morning. Let's check it out. Maybe we can um, have it on screen here. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, the data and statistic, I mean, there you go. Okay. So right. Yeah. Around 107, which is... Yeah. Um, is, pretty good for this Jakarta. is for today, right? <laughs> for Jakarta. This is for today. Okay, so yeah. this is considered healthy uh, for is Jakarta. This still unhealthy. Yeah, well, it's still unhealthy. Mediocre. Because, yeah, <laughs> but for Jakarta, maybe it's it's in the low level okay. compared to previous days. Yeah, 136 but, is yeah. very high, right? Yeah. Now, um, uh, Dr. Nadia, what can we do to minimize the negative impact of uh, pollution on our health? Uh, yeah, first of all, reduce activities outdoor mm -hmm. and also when we have to go outdoors and do certain things, we have to wear masks and protect, protective clothes. And also uh, for homes, mm -hmm. we can reduce the amount of air that goes inside the house, oh, okay. close the windows and use air, air purifiers. Right. Yeah. Of course. Uh, especially for if we are working out in mm -hmm. the outdoors, do yes. not uh, do not choose the uh, time from noon to evening because that's the highest okay. level of pollution. right activities outside. Yeah. If right. we have to work out in the outdoors, mm -hmm. choose it in the morning. Yes, and also limit uh, activities in the outdoors. Okay. Right. Just do yoga. 
Yeah, <laughs> outside your house. I think it's just because also we've been amidst the pandemic for two and a half years. I think yeah. people are prone to wear their masks whenever they want to go yeah. outside, air yeah. purifier. It becomes one of the most essential yeah. to be at home and whatnot. Yeah. You know, here it stated also how to protect from air pollution in Jakarta. Wear a mask, close yeah. your windows, as you said before, run an air yeah. purifier. Everyone should reduce outdoor exercise. Oh, yeah. So the times that you already had given. Now, what about those that really needs to go to the office? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. again, uh, people that that's, you know, in, in transportation with only the two wheels transportations and yeah. whatnot. Do they have to wear, uh, you know, a significant or something different kind of mask who would protect the air pollutions from them? Yeah, the best mask is the N95 mask. Right. N95. Which is, it will filter most of the particles. Mm -hmm. But it is, it can be uncomfortable. Yes. But yeah. For, it's either uh, uncomfortable yeah, or health, yeah. right? Which one do you choose for your yeah. life? And right. also we can also... Uh, to fight the negative effect of the pollution, which is okay. oxidative effect, we can also increase our intake of anti yeah. antioxidants yeah, from antioxidants. fruits, yeah, fruits and vegetables. Okay. Mm -hmm. And supplements can also work, but it's better to get it from like fresh foods. Fresh mm -hmm. foods. Yeah. Okay, what type of food um, that carries a lot of antioxidants? Mostly fruits and vegetables. Yeah, okay. with right. the vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so we need to put that in right. our diet. Right. Yeah. And you know, after your food, and that, that is very important. I, I know myself and also Ines, we love to do our exercise, our yeah. regular daily yeah. exercises. And we know when it's not outside, we probably go to the gym or maybe inside mm -hmm. our house and mm -hmm. the air conditioning is on. Mm -hmm. So that's why people are basically thinking it's better to do it outside because you got a fresh air, right? Mm -hmm. As opposed to you have to be inside the room with an air conditioning. Okay. So in this type, I mean 107 as of right now today, Alhamdulillah, is quite good. But <laughs> let's say it's a higher than that. Yeah. Which one do you think is preferable? And let's say we're inside the house or inside a room with AC. Is there any additional kind of anything that we have to add on because we're you know not too good also in front of the AC yeah. isn't that correct yeah uh, first of all exercise is better than no exercise yeah. yes yeah. thank you doc <laughs> yeah so uh, depends on the air quality outside we can maybe check yeah. when before we go out to exercise outdoors mm -hmm. if it's still under 100 or around 100 maybe it's okay. okay but if it's above that it's better to exercise indoors because okay. indoors we have the ac we have we can have like air purifiers mm -hmm. uh, but if we have to go outside and exercise outdoors with high ati index uh, we can use masks okay. while doing exercise and that's oh. going to be much more harder yeah. <laughs> yeah. a lot harder Okay, uh, now Dr. Nadia, um, um, Carol and I um, are both moms, so mm -hmm. uh, we want to know also about the effect on our children's health. Mm -hmm. uh, are they um, yeah. are they prone to lung yeah. diseases as as us um, as are we or mm. or are there any ways to maybe protect our children from air pollution? Yeah, it's basically the same with children they can also develop lung diseases mm. in the long term if they're uh, exposed to air pollution for a long term uh, what can we do is we can limit their time outdoors okay uh, limit the activities outdoors okay. if, how long Dr. How long, as in? How long du the duration, the duration uh, that they can oh, do out outdoor outdoor activities? activities. One hour. One hour. Sure, yeah, okay. and also choose the areas where it's far from the streets mm. that are not polluted, okay. and maybe in parks or in areas with more trees. Ah, okay. So they also need to wear their mask also. Right? Yeah. And 95 for children also, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, good thing they're already accustomed to it also. <laughs> the little one. I know. So small. But Dr. Nadia, you know, my following up question, let's say we're pro prolonged this, right? The citizen of Jakarta is not changing their habits and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, the air pollution goes up or, you know, still maintaining in that position. And it's not good numbers too. What's the longevity after that? What would cause this for the long time effect? If our, if our air is still polluted like this? Yeah, in the long term, it will cause us to develop lung diseases. Mm. Mostly, we can get asthma, bronchitis, yeah. uh, even something called COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, okay. which is normally is caused by like long-term smoking, 
But if we are exposed to oh, polluted gosh. air for a long term, it can also cause that. Yeah. And uh, psychologically, it can cause stress. Yeah. It can trigger people with uh, already existing diseases. Yeah. It can uh, it's trigger attacks for... and also increase risk, risk of death. Mm -hmm. So many of the things that we need to change, yeah. I think, Ines, yeah. as we speak right now. Yeah, so what can we do, actually, to, you know, to yeah. stop this yes. from happening? Yeah. yeah, in the bigger level, uh, maybe from the government to yeah. regulate the uh, industries and factories yeah, of course, the for their emissions and also reduce vehicle emissions, reduce the use of vehicles. Mm -hmm. Maybe us, as citizens of Jakarta, we can yes. reduce our personal vehicle use, yeah. use carpooling, for, yeah, more public, public transport. transportation, <laughs> yeah, and also uh, for our daily activities, yeah, reduce the amount of activities done out outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the silver lining when we're in pandemic, I think the city is much more healthier, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a lot cleaner. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But now everyone is going out and about again, you know, we're <laughs> running the city again, this happens. So we really need to, be, uh, to find that balance and, yeah. you, you know, find the middle grounds where we can save the environment, but also we can live our daily uh, day to day with that. Yeah, so for a great future for us and also to our children. Anyways, we want to thank you so much to thank Dr. Nusai Banadia, MMC Hospital General Practitioner. We saw the data, the statistic. Yeah. It's time to change right now. Yeah. And don't forget your masks. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Even though we are now can open our masks yes. in, in the outdoors, I think yeah, it's safer for us to wear our right. masks everywhere. But okay, we are going for a quick break and Paul will return with a recap from the world of sports. So keep it here on the Sea Morning Show.